Spence in Clarksburg, West Virginia. You're on the air with Congressman Pocan. I think about the money being spent. How can we afford not to do it, in my opinion? Uh, I think that the Democrats are following the Constitution. Uh, yes, I, I feel that the Democrats aren't following the Constitution to exact because uh, they should be caging people. They should bring cages up that they put these children in, bring it up to Congress, and jail these people that refuse to come to Congress and, and uh, get more hard-handed and follow the Constitution all the way. They have the right to jail these people. I'll, I'll listen to your response. Thank that's, you. That's inherent. Yeah, that's ben, contempt, I, I really, that is a great question. And actually, Jerry Nadler did a great job explaining that last week at the Progressive Caucus, because I thought that, too. Why aren't we doing more? Why you know this inherent contempt and other ways we have? Why aren't we uh, really putting some, some teeth behind this? Well, the reason is there's a legal process. So even when you try to do some of this, there's a bunch of legal hurdles we have to jump before you can put them into uh, the jail before you can even find them and how you can uh, recover any kind of uh, funds for someone trying to violate this. So there are huge legal obstacles that make it, while yes, we can do these things, um, it may take years before you could actually jail someone uh, for not giving you the testimony. So that's why I think in this case, we already have the information. We have the motive, the crime, the confession, the evidence. Uh, now we're seeing what else is associated with this, and we're going to be able to move uh, much more swiftly on it. But uh, your question was my question for a long time. Jerry did an excellent job of explaining it last week, and uh, it's just the process is so long to do those things while we have that right. It's really not practical. Brian, excuse me, Brian in uh, Pontiac, Michigan. You're on the air with Congressman Pocan. Hello. Hey, Brian. You're on the air. Hey, how you doing, Congressman? How you doing, Tom? Love your show, man. Listen, Thank my you. question is, why is it the Democrats, especially Nancy Pelosi, just being more hardcore strength. We gave you a blue wave. Seriously, we gave you a washout of power to take control of the House. I know you don't have the Senate, but this is ridiculous. This guy has committed so much obstruction of justice just along with what he did to Mueller. And it's clear that the conservative FBI control um, high level of the FBI won't do anything because they're just they're stuck as much as anybody else. They're like, what do we do? What do we do? I mean, this guy's corrupt. It's, it's, his corruption is beyond belief. I mean, he's even worse than, he's a hundred times worse than Nixon. And no. Nixon so, Brian, let's, let's let the congressman answer your question. Yeah, so Brian, I, so first of all, I think you know if you follow the Mueller investigation, that gives you a good example why it takes a little longer, right? If they're blocking witnesses from coming, and I just explained there's a long, convoluted legal process to get them, uh, they're trying to run out a clock. In this case, we have an opportunity a little differently. Also, we've been doing this other thing, Brian, called governing. Um, and we've passed uh, something like 260 bills that we've sent to the Senate, of which they've taken up somewhere between 10 and 15 percent of them. We've passed bills around campaign finance, ethics, uh, and election reform. We've passed bills on paycheck equity so women make the same as men. We've passed a minimum wage increase. We've passed bills on prescription drugs. We've passed the Violence Against Women Act reauthorization. We have done uh, climate change legislation. We have done... I go down the list of so many things that we've sent over there that are just being put in the back of a pickup truck and buried in some backyard in Kentucky by Mitch McConnell. Um, but we've done that as well. Uh, and then, uh, as you could see from the Miller investigation, why it's not as easy to just get some of these folks to come because of the legal process. This is a different situation, and we're moving very expeditiously. So I, I think a lot of the, the comments uh, out there are just based on uh, not knowing all the facts, and it, it, there has been a very aggressive effort to move forward on this. It's just when Donald Trump proclaims his innocence but doesn't let people testify, one, he's violated the smell test, which may be the most important test that's out there, which is why public opinion is moving so quickly against him. Uh, but two, we now have that opportunity because we've got more information on this Ukrainian uh, call uh, that we're going to be able to move much quicker. And I hope people like Brian and others will be uh, satisfied and then also look at all that legislation that we've passed, which is why you gave us that majority in the House. Of course, we need that in the Senate and the White House to make those things become a reality.